I uh, recently, now I haven't even released this yet, but last politics stream, I did a video on Styx Hexenhammer 666, who bravely proclaimed that he would not be debating any of the grifting bread tubers out there um, because they make money off of YouTube. I'm still not sure. Um, I, I don't know. It was hard to make it. It was hard to make out like an intelligible excuse through all the crying. Uh, and uh, uh, that actually kind of sparked a shit storm on Twitter a little bit. Maybe a, a shit, uh, a shit uh, gale, perhaps not necessarily a storm, a shit uh, uh, drizzle, maybe. But um, it, it led to a lot of Twitter discourse, nothing else, uh, which ended up in Six Hex and Hammer blocking me. Now, I haven't even released, to those of you who are watching this live right now, I don't know if you've seen that or not, because I haven't even released that video. We're following up on this pretty quickly, but if you're watching this, if you're watching this sequentially, then, oh, I don't know, Hyena. I'll look at it later. Uh, if we're looking at this sequentially, then here's Sargon of Akkad doing the same goddamn thing. Is it worth debating bread to, I will never be able to do Sargon's voice. Is it worth debating BreadTube? What's the point in debating an angry communist in terms that will simply make him money? Let's see, we got that one again. You'll also notice the stars of BreadTube run from debate, and only the Reddit debate bros will do it because it is performance art, not discussion. So, I've got a lot to say about this. We can get to this point by point, okay? Now, Sticks Hexenhammer pretty much confirmed that his video was about me. Again, and I said this before, but I'll say it again. How many bread tube debaters are there? If we're talking about skeptosphere debaters, like if we were saying that back in 2017, 2018, that could refer to dozens of people. If we're talking about bread tube debaters here and today, it's pretty much me and Xander Hall. I think that's pretty much like the breadth of it, of the, the known bread tube debaters. Jangle Science Lad, maybe? Uh, Mouthy Infidel, uh, who's a great debater, but is very, very small. Like, like, let's be realistic about who's being targeted here. Sticks Hexenhammer pretty much acknowledged that I was the one he was referring to because he hearted a comment in the YouTube uh, comment section, uh, where they described the aforementioned, uh, the serfs? Uh, yeah, Lance does debates, um, where, uh, they described the aforementioned, uh, bread tube debate bro as a, uh, fat man bun, uh, so-and-so. And, you know, of course, I, I actually don't, like, ever wear my hair in a man bun anymore because I'm lazy and I always stream after I shower, but, um, the, the sentiment is nonetheless appreciated. I've never even debated Sticks Hexenhammer. Sargon I've debated. So let's go over this. Hassan? Hassan doesn't really do debates. What's the point in debating an angry communist in terms that will simply make him money? So this is literally just how dare YouTubers make money from doing YouTube. I mean, it's like, this is so weak, dude. Then you'll also notice the stars of YouTube run from debate. That's because the stars of YouTube do video essays and not like lazy live react comment like you and me. And only the Reddit debate bros will do it. Why am I a Reddit debate bro? I barely use my Reddit account. Wait, I, I'm just, why am I a Reddit debate bro? Like, can't I just be like a debate? I, I just don't understand what the association with Reddit is. Is it because I have a subreddit? I mean, I barely moderate. I, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't know. Because it's performance art, not discussion. So I think that's the gist of it. And Good lord, he looks horrifying here. Um, I think uh, I think that's basically the gist of it. So Sargon here is upset because when he tries to have conversations with people like me, and he offers insightful commentary like, brown people bad, we should cut off all immigration because immigrants sometimes commit crime, and you can't be a socialist and like immigration, he gets upset when I do things like bring up statistical data or actually like refute his points. Um, this is hilarious to me. It will always be hilarious to me because, and I really do think this, this is a, this is a change in like the zeitgeist of YouTube. For years, people like Sargon, Styx, Hexenhammer, all these people, these were the most aggressive, hateful debate bros around, dude. They would find these tiny little feminist channels and dogpile them with their audiences, skidding them, doxing, death threats, hate, the comment sections, the fucking like-dislike ratios, 
beyond the fucking pale. Oh, oh yeah. Well, if you your ideas are so great, why can't you debate me? And then and like this this was going on for years. Like they were horrible. Um, if you care about like harassing people, which I try not to do, you know, these people postured themselves as like the intellectual gatekeepers of the universe, dude. And now, and I'm just, I'm going to be a little bit conceited here because I've debated Sargon twice and I know for a fact he got really fucking mad after the last debate that I had with him. Ooh, I, he was feeling real good after the first one. That's probably what made him do the second one. And he was feeling real bad after that second one, okay? That's why he didn't make a video on it. Um, I'm going to assume this is largely about me, okay? So how fucking pathetic of you to posture as these debate lords for years and then a couple people on the left actually start engaging in debate and all of you back the fuck off. It's actually a really, really smart survival strategy on your part because none of you stand a fucking chance against, any, not just me, anyone who has done any amount of research on any of the subjects you guys talk about. The moment you get rid of the inherent power differential um, that is associated with like tiny little left tubers arguing with Big Daddy Sargon or whatever, the moment you get rid of that fear and intimidation, you guys collapse like a house of cards and you run away. So Sargon over here posturing, it's all performance art, not discussion. Sargon initiated both debates with me, both of them. And he chose the conversational topics in the first one. And the second one I chose, I just chose the same ones as the first one. He set the terms. He initially set the moderator. I chose a neutral moderator for the second one. He wanted both discussions. So the idea that we're like seeking out people to challenge, like we're this, these obnoxious performance artists is just not substantiated. In fact, if you guys know, I don't actually seek out debates that often. I usually wait till I'm prompted. I didn't challenge Dix Hexenhammer to a debate until after he made a video preemptively cowering in fear at me. I didn't challenge Lauren Chen to a debate until Lauren Chen acknowledged my criticism of her in a video. I don't usually go out of way, way challenging people. I didn't challenge Count Dankula to a, a debate. Count Dankula challenged me to a debate. I didn't challenge Caleb Malpin to a debate. Caleb Malpin challenged me to a debate. I didn't challenge Stefan Molyneux to a debate. Stefan Molyneux challenged me to a debate. Seriously, I chill here. People come to me because every last one of you thinks you're going to be the one to make me look dumb. And it's not happening yet. <laughs> Let's get to the video. Hit me up, Sargon. What's up? Is it worth debating BreadTube? This is the question that is being raised by Sean Head. When she tweaks to Vorsch. What was that? Wait, how did you fuck up the pronunciation of both of those names? This is the question that is being raised by Sean Head. When she tweaks Sean Ed. Sean Ed. Alright, okay, we're gonna we're gonna focus. It's to Vorsch. Vorsch. A communist YouTuber <laughs> who uh, wanted to debate Sticks Hex and Hammer 666, who's a libertarian YouTuber. And Sticks doesn't want to do this because, well, he thinks that Vorsch just isn't worth the time. So six months ago, he tweeted, leftists are so afraid of me, they won't even debate me. Then you don't want to justify my, my media, mediocre platform by wasting <laughs> your time debating me and thereby associating your brand with my hideous obesity, malicious, an malicious antagonism and elementary school style commentary. Well, you must be a chicken, ha ha ha, I win, heavy mouth breathing noises. I like how Sticks Hexenhammer's cowardly rebuttal there is right out of like 2012. Like, you're a neckbeard. <laughs> um, I would bristle a little bit at the hideous obesity comment, but uh, I think that honestly, next to Sticks Hexen Stix Hexenhammer, pretty much everyone looks morbidly obese. So I'll give, hi I'll give him that. He's allowed to make that one, okay? Now, what's surprising about this is the lack of compassion that she was showing here. <laughs> I can't believe that she thinks that Vorsch's audience isn't also an instrument to abuse people, which is what Styx is objecting to. Now, I'm- Wait, is Styx objecting to- So Styx objected to a lot of stuff on Twitter. First, Styx was saying, hey, I'm not going to give you money by debating you, after which I said, I will debate you and donate the proceeds to a COVID-19 charity, at which point Styx said, actually, I only debate relevant people, uh, after which he backed up to, actually, I don't want to because you guys are bullies. He backed up like three times over the course of 15 minutes on Twitter. It was crazy. He never actually mentioned like my audience. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I personally don't care. However, that doesn't mean that's not the case. Vorsch very much is about grandstanding to his audience, about ideas that he himself doesn't have the balls to implement.
So I think that's a worker co-op thing. This is still literally like the lol, you're a socialist. Why isn't your YouTube channel a worker co-op? It's really, really funny that they think that's a gotcha. They keep bringing that up. Destiny brings that up too. I wonder if they think, like, I don't know if they know that's a bad argument or... Anyway, um, yeah, it's really funny that uh, Sargon of Akkad would complain about grandstanding. Does everyone remember back in my second debate with him when he was like, I can't believe you, a socialist, would advocate for immigration when it hurts the wages of the working class. And then I say... Uh, well, actually, uh, it actually generally benefits wages and it increases economic productivity in other ways, which helps the working class. And even then we can use redistributive programs to help the working class. And it's a net benefit. And then he would respond, I can't believe you, a socialist. He did that four times in a row, by the way. That's not a joke. He actually did that four times in a row. He would not jump off it. But yeah, I'm the grandstander. I just like discussing ideas, my dude. So that's how we know that they're not good ideas. He personally isn't going to do it. Therefore, we can't assume there's any virtue in what he's doing. He is, in fact, living like an arch-capitalist, much in the same way as Hassan Piker. Remember, boys, if you make money, you're not a socialist. <laughs> That's actually, this is actually the intellectual level that they work on. Remember? Remember, uh, guys, how many times do I have to point at the sign? Uh, you don't have any points, you gesture at imagined hypocrisy. He hasn't made any points in this video. All he's doing is accusing me of imagined hypocrisy. Um, even And it's important to remember that because even if I was a hypocrite, which I'm not, socialists can make money in a capitalist society, I'm even a market socialist. Like, even in my socialist society, my next step, I would still be doing what I'm doing. Like, that wouldn't change at all. My, my life, insofar as this job, wouldn't be affected at all by a transition to market socialism. I'm already a sole proprietor. I already do all of my own work. I don't have any means of production to distribute amongst an employee group. I'll, my life hasn't changed. Um, but yeah, this would, it's, it's basically the equivalent of like, hey, you say you're a capitalist, but you gave away money to charity one time. Ha, huh? you used capital in a way that wasn't to, to reinvest into your industry. You call yourself a capitalist. Like it's, it's like about that dumb, but nobody makes those arguments against those guys. It's quite interesting how these communists walk, don't walk the walk, even though they talk the talk. But she has been taken in by all of this because I think she's got an attachment to being left wing. And I don't want the comments to, on this video to just be, oh, I hate this person because X, Y, Z. That's not productive. Right. But I think that she does have an attachment to the label of left wing. And so anyone who. Has That's really funny coming from an ethno stater who called himself a classical liberal for years who spent his entire career expounding conservative dogma while calling himself a classical liberal. It's really funny. Asserts this label, essentially she's kind of forced to go along with them. What? And I don't think she's really thought this through as much as she might like. Oh shit, they're mad, dude. They're mad, they're fucking, they're fucking skeptosphere waifu is moving over to a correct position. That's what this is. Oh shit, that's what this is. They're seeing that one of the skeptic community isn't gravitating towards neo-Nazism like the rest of them did, and they're actually fucking mad about it. Is this is this like a cuck thing for him? Does he think like I'm I'm using my my socialist like wiles to draw Shu away from that? I thought I just I just chat with Shu over DMs like about like funny Twitter drama, my dude. Like I'm not wiling her. She just thinks you guys are kind of dumb now. But what Stix is talking about here is I would suggest the social justice types. The social <laughs> justice types who end up essentially making this meme true where people are having civil discussion and then suddenly the leftists come in and oh everyone's a fascist everyone's misogynist everyone's this it, things that are not up for debate things that are just statements don't you love it when you and your skeptic community are talking about how we need to institute ethno states and how race realism is real and then somebody comes in and ruins all the fun by calling you racist don't you hate it when you have to use a meme from like the paleolithic era of the internet to express this sentiment? I hate it when that happens, dude. I, I hate it when I'm when I'm Sargon of Akkad and I'm talking about how um, uh, homosexuality uh, um, is being pushed by a global conspiracy of leftism and how leftists have infiltrated the media and how uh, everyone hates straight white men and how we need to close off the borders to all the fucking Muslims coming in and how uh, Europe is for the Europeans. And then someone comes in and they call me a fascist? Damn, whatever happened to civil discourse? These guys, you you guys realize these people are literally like the um 
like the Karens. They're like the uh, the wine moms, where they only care about civility because they're using it to obfuscate any discussions of their actual ideas. They're literally like that. That's what that's what the, he's like a Karen. Assertions that are not in any way useful whatsoever, and that is basically what Vosh is. But Vosh is that for the 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 uh he won't like it if i call him a, a tanky but for the the, <laughs> the revolutionary communist bit that's vosh and the sjw damn wait so are wait are you saying that it's worthless and uh incendiary to call people fascist because there's no argument there but you'll just keep calling me a radical communist without making an argument hmm that's interesting Sargon, why do you think it's why do you think it's a disruption of civil discourse when people apply labels to you and your friends, but when you apply labels to other groups of people, it's actually a totally legitimate uh, argumentative strategy. It's a little weird, right there. Thanks for not calling me a tanky, by the way. I really appreciate that. I work very hard to uh, to to distance tankies from my community. W's are for the rest of it, and they won't debate their ideas. Vorsch doesn't what? even debate his ideas. What? Vorsch just angrily shouts at someone at how co-ops are going to be the best thing ever but you know for thee and not for me my dude i gave you all the data i know you're still mad i gave you all the data i know you can't read so it was basically like me giving data to a fish but i gave it to you okay you can't fault me for that you can't fault me for that listen to this guy he's so mad vosh he just wants to talk about policy proposals even though he hasn't made his youtube channel in a co-op like holy shit dude was the data longer than five minutes? I can confirm that he would have had to spend uh, five minutes, uh, more than five minutes reading if he wanted to truly appreciate the data that I gave him. If you watch his debate with Stefan Molyneux, Ah, here we go. You'll see what I mean. It's actually amazing to watch him screech to a halt and start widening back his own position of work costs. Well, actually, there are conditions. They are, they're always good. And it certainly wouldn't... The funny thing is, in my debate with Stefan Molyneux, I literally opened by saying there should be a threshold over which we apply a standard of worker cooperatives to the economy, and that below that threshold, it's probably not economically viable, and that things like YouTube channels would never meet that threshold. I actually preempted the conversation by saying it. But that's okay. That was probably more than five minutes into the debate. I know Sargon probably didn't make it that far. Work for my channel. I do most of the work, so I'll really do you. Sounding very capitalist here. Doing work? on your own is capitalist. But it's interesting that the, the problem I have here is that Shu is, and I think unwittingly, acting like an attack dog for radical communists. <laughs> now, I find that really bizarre because you would think <laughs> that the, the the really far left, the really hard left, as Vorchin The happens, far left, the hard left. Uh, whoa, 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 Sargon. Remember in our first debate when I called UKIP far right and you got really mad at me? Whoa, what's far left, my dude? I just want to secure economic and social prosperity for the people of the United States of America. What's far left about me, my dude? I'm just a classical liberal. I believe in the classical virtues of liberalism, like Adam Smith. I believe some things need to be decommodified, like Adam Smith. I agree in the viability of worker co-ops, like Adam Smith. I believe that landlords have a toxic influence on our uh, on our economy. I'm I'm a classical liberal, my dude. I don't know why you would paint me as a far leftist. That's really weird. Uh, you would think that she would be opposed to that. Sticks replies with this, disconcerting to see you stoop down to a chuckle to chuckle with someone whose initial antagonism of me involves him explicitly stating he knows little about my content, a person whose career is predominantly a slew of outright antagonism of other creators. Sad. Well, that is true. I mean- Wait, Styx Hexenhammer's channel is also a slew of antagonism. He's just too much of a pussy to actually name the people he's talking about. But half of Styx Hexenhammer's videos are rants about the regressive left or SJWs or some other nebulous group of evildoers that are, um, that are, um, uh, yeah, that's somehow ruining society. The difference is I'm not a pussy, so I talk about the people I'm, I'm uh, uh, referring to. If I was somebody like Sargon or Styx Hexenhammer right now, instead of this, where you can see Sargon, I would be looking like this, and I would do a 20-minute rant about how there are some skeptics in the YouTube community who aren't willing to debate their ideas. But because I have a spine, I directly talk about the people that I have an issue with. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, you know. We can't all be, you know, I guess, uh, invertebrates. You wouldn't, if if I was acting towards trans people in the way that Vorsch acts towards just anyone. <laughs> Can you imagine, Vosh, if I treated trans people the way you treated fascists? Do you see now your hypocrisy, Vosh? When you speak ill of murderers, don't you realize that if I spoke that way about black people, it would look really bad? 
I I can't believe I actually can't believe that Sargon like has a following. It's actually insane to me. Then you would certainly say that I was in the wrong. <laughs> so why isn't Vorsh in the wrong? Because you're a fascist. And I'm not targeting you because you're trans. You'll notice I'm not targeting you because you're white or male either, or cisgender. Um, I might target you because you're British sometimes, but hey, listen, okay? That's that's not negotiable. Why is Styx not allowed to say, well, hang on a second. I actually don't need people abusing me online. I don't have to debate with that. I mean, can you not find a more reasonable leftist than Vorsch? Is there no one that you can talk to? who is not this person. Yeah, find an easier target, my dude. God, they're so fucking scared of me. It's crazy. Because he doesn't seem, I mean, he doesn't even accept when he's wrong either. <laughs> he doesn't understand it. And do you think he's about to say a point where he thought he was uh, got me in the wrong, or do you think he's just going to skip by it and insinuate that I've been wrong in the past, but not actually describe how? When you get something that he doesn't know anything about, he just goes, well, I don't care about that. It's like, okay, but that's something that other people care about. That's a like, facet of the debate. Like, Why can't you engage with that? And it's just a way of effectively ejecting. Wait. If I don't know enough about a topic to discuss it, I'm not going to discuss it. What is he, what is he referring to right now? When have I, I don't think I've ever said, I don't care about that, unless it's literally irrelevant. Like, he'd say, like, oh, well, Muslims one time hurt a guy. Like, okay, I don't care about that. I think that's, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. In the first debate, he mentioned, like, some incredibly minute, esoteric thing Muslims did. And I think I said, I don't care, because it was statistically irrelevant. And he's upset, because that's what he wanted to talk about. He doesn't want to talk, like, about stats or data. He wants to find, like, a news article from 2014 about, a, like, a brown person who, like, a, like did something, like, bad to, like, a white person or something. And he wants to talk about that for 90 minutes. That's, that's what he wants to do. That's his. But I'm the one who grandstands, by the way. And this comes from the sort of bread to bro, debate me bro sphere, the sort of Reddit debaters. You literally sound like a woke scold, dude. You actually sound like the woke scolds. That's crazy to me. You actually sound like the woke scolds right now. You sound just like those itty bitty whittle fucking trans 16 year old baby accounts on Twitter who impugn me for being aggressive. You fucking pussy. What are you? Fucking beta male? You're not a beta male, are you, Sargon? I literally, every time I get in debates with you people, I try to treat you with as good as faith as possible. With the Stefan Molyneux, I literally just sat there and listened as he rambled about how magic and morals was what led to the Industrial Revolution. I didn't interrupt him at all until he started interrupting me. And even then, I kept it to a minimum, okay? When I talk with you in the second debate, I responded to every point that you made. You couldn't respond to the points I made. You are, I am so fucking nice to you guys in conversations, dude. It is insane how much charity I bring to the table. But, I get it. It's tough. As if that's a legitimate debate tactic or something. But it comes across, I mean, when I had my debate with him, the, the, we go. the, the top comment on Adam and uh, Sitch's stream was, this guy sounds like he's trying to punch Sargon through the screen. It's really amazing, isn't it? It's like, what are you so aggressive and angry about if you're so certain in your own positions? That's that's data to Sargon of Akkad, the top YouTube comment. That's that's his. I've I've brought with me some proof that Vosh engages in dirty debate tactics. Uh, seen here in this YouTube comment, uh, in uh, uh, in the video of our debate, um, he said he it, it, that Vosh was mad. Uh, as you can see from this, the data is settled. <laughs> like, but of course he wasn't, which is why Molyneux ended up making him look like a prat. But she goes, your first excuse. Literally everyone, like, I remember on Twitter when people were dogpiling Molyneux after his performance in my debate. He literally looked like a lunatic. Um, Stefan Molyneux, by the way, I think is actually, like, sundowning, by the way. I think that Stefan Molyneux is actually, like, seeing his way out the door. That dude is getting crazier and crazier with time. So I might have actually caught him at the end of his, like, cognizance. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a brain tumor, a tumor or something. This was he makes money. So then he said he'd donate the Super Chats to charity. No one trusts Vorsch to donate Super Chance to charity. And I'll tell you why. What? Right? Go and ask him. Go and ask him, what does honor mean to a communist? What? See what he says. Why should he honor that commitment? Why should he do it? Hassan doesn't honor his commitment to pay his workers. What the fuck are we talking about right now?
Also, Styx Hexenhammer never said, I won't debate Vosh because I don't trust that he is going to donate the Super Chats. He doesn't debate me because he's scared. It was an obfuscation from the beginning. What, what is honor? What the fuck does that mean? Vosh doesn't honor his commitment to working to worker co-ops because he believes that all YouTube channels should be turned to worker co-ops. Holy shit, dude. No points, just imagined hypocrisy. I, they keep, I can't believe they keep doing it. Co-ops, why should we expect that he will honor his commitment to giving Super Chats to charity? No one thinks he's going to do it. Oh, well, okay, so first of all, nobody in the entire Twitter thread ever said at any point that they doubted the, uh, the legitimacy of my, like, uh, um... Uh, promise to donate my super chats to charity. Uh, nobody brought that up. So for you to say nobody believes Walsh will do it is a little bit weird. Second of all, it's pretty obvious considering the fact that Sticks Hexenhammer backed off that point afterwards and didn't challenge my legitimacy in that claim that he wasn't thinking that. You're just simping for the dude. You're just over here trying to find a way to post hoc justify his cowardice by suggesting that he actually secretly doubted my um, my authenticity rather than just generally being like a coward. You know, but I can answer that directly. Uh, the reason I would donate them to super chat, uh, the super chats to charity, is because I don't ever lie, ever. Uh, you you can find the find me lying about anything major at any point over the course of my channel, if you will. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like. Also, it would make me look really bad if I made that promise and then didn't donate that money. So it would be in my interest to do so. Do you do you think I'm so hard up for cash that I would like try to hoard like? one stream's worth of donations over my long-term integrity as a YouTuber. Then you said it didn't matter enough for debate. And now it's this. All leftists are either grifters or not relevant enough for you. You can't say none of them want to debate you anymore. Yeah, but there are limits, aren't there? I mean, like, Vosh is grandstanding. That's all it is. It's just <laughs> grandstanding for his audience. And they're not interested in truth or falsity. They're not interested in right or wrong. They're not even listening. Ex it's a so, team sport. Like, and you know it. Example. And there's no example, point playing this game. Example. Again, Vosh is going to be the pigeon who shits on the chessboard. Example. But when Stefan cornered him, he couldn't say anything. Cornered? I responded to every point he gave. Holy shit. Also, not a Nazi Sargon palling around with Molyneux. And literal neo-Nazi, Jake Hewer. He just retreated back into his standard rhetoric. What is my anyway, standard Sticks rhetoric? Is, uh, Sticks is... What is my standard rhetoric, Sargon? Do you have any, like, anything that you can say to support your point? Your audience is hanging with bated breath. They want to know. Reply here is not actually the best reply, to be honest. If someone with five subscribers and a hammer and sickle tattoo says they want to debate me, I have to debate them or I'm a coward. You know this isn't how things work. So that's true, but we're not really talking about that. We're talking about people who are, I guess we'll call them... Con prominent powerful terrifying fearsome masculine overbearing dominant what throw me a few adjectives come on sargon tell me how you really feel we're not talking about some rando with five subscribers are we we're talking about the debate lord of the left come on come on say it fill my ego do it for me content creators who are you know actually engaging with ideas and i don't know who the humanist report is but um, I, don't, I don't know what's gone on between them and uh, and Styx. So it, it does seem that there can be these people. I mean, I personally have uh, asked Callum to reach out to Hugo and Jake because they were calling Styx a coward on Twitter. And I've, I've asked him to reach out to them uh, so I can have a chat with them. And uh, V said he'd like to be part of the chat because I've been really interested in probing their ideas. And v? Oh, God. Do you guys remember that guy? Holy shit. Remember? He was one of the first fucking skeptics I de uh, uh, debated on the... Um on the Drunken Peasants podcast, and he didn't know anything. He didn't know a single fucking thing about what he was talking about. He was saying, like, we ha like we can't let refugees into America because they could go to American embassies on the way up from South America to declare sanctuary. Like, holy shit, that dude was crazy. Uh, does, does everyone remember there's that, like, um, that chart that somebody made a long time ago about rating all the YouTubers by rhetorical skill and philosophical rigor, and V was at the bottom of both. It was really, really funny. Like, V was crammed into the bottom left corner. He, he was, like, law. It was, like, like he wasn't floating there. Like, gravity had pulled him down to the side and to the bottom, you know? It was really funny. I'm sure they're interested in probing the ideas of the other side. I've been watching some of their Dave Rubin's book uh, review, and, I mean, 
tepid on both sides. But uh, by the way, Sargon just dead named Hannah. Yeah, Hugo is trans. Hugo is Hannah. Um, but I don't know if that's something Sargon did intentionally. Um, uh, uh, Hannah was known for uh, they were known as Hugo and Jake for a long time. While Sargon is still a transphobe, I don't know if that's explicitly something he's doing on purpose. So. Yes, he did do it on purpose, dude. I've seen people recently do it not on purpose. Guys, guys, I can accuse Sargon of being a transphobe without accidentally tripping up and maybe accusing him in instances where it could conceivably just be ignorance on his part, okay? It would be, it's much easier for me to just attack him on points that I know he holds rather than try to, um, try to assume that he's doing things out of malice when there are conceivable excuses that he wouldn't be doing it out of malice. Uh, I'm sure that the, the lefties are completely up for debate, which is what Shu is essentially saying here. Styx's reason for this was we tried several times to get a debate going. The last time there was a miscommunication. Then he decided he wanted to unilaterally try to force me to accept the debate time. It would be well after my bedtime, so to speak. No thanks. Seems like you have an issue with me. Also sad. Just so you guys know, um, Styx Hexenhammer had a debate set up with a humanist report. They tried to get it going three times. He backed out every time and then he blocked them on Twitter. Um... It still needs to be corrected. Yeah, that's why I corrected it. But I'm not going to, like, attack him over. There are much easier things to attack him over than that. Um, yeah, so it was, like, really pathetic. I actually got a DM from the Humanist Report. Wait, hold on. I got a DM from the Humanist Report. First time I talked with them, actually, after the Sticks Hex and Hammer drama, which is pretty funny for me. Um, and they said, hey, um, I had to reach out because I saw you talking about Sticks backing out of debate with you. He backed out of a debate with me three times, and I just talked about it on DP last week and will be dropping a video on my channel with receipts. Dude is such a huckster. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Little baby bedtime Sticks. Too, na too, too sleepy, too nappy time to want to debate three times in a row. So what's sad, apparently, according to Shu, is hearing that the left is too scared to debate free market of ideas for whole, five whole years, then finally seeing actual leftists who aren't SJWs want to debate, and 90% of the YouTubers cry cowards in the past, make weird-ass excuses and pussy out. Well, I mean, these aren't exactly the people we need to talk to, are they? I mean... You don't need to talk to... Any, for, okay, first of all, Sargon, there are no larger debaters than people like me on the left. Like, if you if we're talking about people you need to talk to, just as a matter of, like, engaging for clout, the, I'm, like, the largest one. Um, unless we're talking about people like Sam Cedar. I don't think you're going to call into, like, the Sam Cedar show or anything like that. Um, if we're just talking, like, pure YouTubers and not talk show hosts, then, like, there's that. Uh, what the real answer is just, just say you're scared. Why can't they be honest, dude? Holy shit. Why can't they be honest? Dude, I engage with dishonest actors all the time. You're, a, you're like, incredibly stupid. And you're dishonest. But I debated you twice. Uh, Stefan Molyneux is stupid, crazy and dishonest and i debated him after he reached out to me mind you i'm willing to engage with people who i fit reasonably think are bad faith actors man sargon looks so strange does anyone else think that he's like not getting any sleep i don't know like the bags under his eyes feel like ever since he shaved his head i don't know it's cabin fever or something um yeah oof. um <laughs> anyway like Jesus Christ, like, the, just the snowflakery on these people. Like, I'll debate, I would debate alt-hype, known dishonest cunt. Uh, even Nick Fuentes, dishonest cunt. Oh, who you debated with, by the way, Sargon. Um, in that Twitch show, in the, the Scuff podcast show, that disastrous one. Um, like, this is, this is just not an excuse, like, at all. Even if everything you said was true, that I was a dis dishonest debater or whatever, you're still more of a pussy than me. Because I engage with all of you. When the communists are actually making policy, then maybe that's a concern. But the social justice warriors are actually making policy. Like you should, you should see Scotland at the moment. Should Wait, what? Go and go and go and do some looking in to the Scottish National Party. They're what? very interesting. You'll see a whole slew of SJWs in that, and none of them will. Be Wait, he doesn't want to debate communists, but he wants to debate SJW. Wait. Am I not both an SJW and a communist? Wait, can I be both? I can be both, right? Can't... The only reason I wanted to talk about worker co-ops with him is because he was the one who brought it up in the first debate, because that was made the subject of discussion. If we just want to talk about, like, feminazis or the SJWs coming to eat all the straight white men or something, like, we can talk about that, too. Like, I, I, I don't... I love both points. Have a hold to account. None of their ideas will ever be challenged. But nobody really needs to challenge the ideas of communists. I mean, the 20th century has proved them so demonstrably wrong. 
What's the point? You're the one who chose the discussion topic, my dude, because you thought you'd get an easy gotcha and you didn't have a single piece of data to back up any of your points. I mean, I do it for fun. I do it because I like it. Oh. But I can totally understand that if other people who look at the just quagmire that Vorsch sits in with angry, buzzing, dumbass communists. I do appreciate the fact that rather than like leaving any room for plausible deniability, he's just making it open that I'm the person he's scared of. Like he doesn't keep saying like the bread tube debate Reddit sphere. He just says my name. I appreciate that. That's better than sticks, hex and hammer. And like, uh, no, nah, I don't need to do that. There's no, there's no benefit in that for me. There's no point I doing know. blood sports. As Sticks pointed out, it's just going to enrich Vorsch. And again, I don't trust him to send that money across. That is such a weak excuse, dude. Uh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't debate you because I don't want you to make money, even though this is our job and we're both on YouTube and that's literally how the platform works. Uh, oh, you'll, do you'll donate it? Uh, I, I don't believe you even though I never made mention of that in the Twitter thread or anywhere else, and you're just inventing this excuse for him because you don't want him to come off like a giant coward, and he actually backed off to other excuses that also look pathetic. Damn, I thought you were a capitalist, Sargon, over here. You're saying you don't want to engage with others in the free marketplace of idea because they've set up a business structure where they profit from it? Damn, that's really interesting, Sargon. What are you, some kind of socialist? Are you, do you have a moral objection to people making money? Sargon of Akkad claiming to be a capitalist over here. Hmm. Can't even answer some basic questions about the fundamental hypocrisy of his beliefs. Oof. Sucks to suck. I'll be holding this against you from now on, Sargon. That's your worker co-op YouTube channel shit, okay? What would be the best thing to do, really, if Vorsch was actually Vorsch. sincere in wanting an exchange of ideas with people, is you would have the debate offline, record it, and then upload it to your respective channels afterwards. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh! Is that the arbitrary standard we're saying? Oh, yeah, hey! Hey, Carl, Sticks Hexenhammer, uh, block me on Twitter. Can you let, can you let him know? Yeah, yeah, sure. For, well, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll lose out on the money for a stream for the, for the fucking, uh, 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 for the chance to debate, uh, Sticks Hexenhammer. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 100%. Come on, yeah, let him know, okay? I'm gonna upload this video. Hopefully you'll hear about it. Let Sticks Hammer know, okay? You guys can let him know on Twitter, too, if you're not blocked from Sticks Hexenhammer. Say, Sargon says you should debate Vosh offline. That's what you should do. Let, make sure to let him know, okay? Go over there, just let him know. Just just inform him that Sargon's opinion of this situation. Um, happily, yeah, okay, we can do that again. Yeah, Sargon, if you want to do that too, I think that'd be a lot of fun, baby. I do like streaming it. It is fun for me to watch all the little frogs run by on the side of the screen, but I'll just for you guys, okay? Just for you guys. Of course, he's not going to do that because he's not interested in that, as you know. Test me, motherfucker. And you've got to remember, Shu, that nobody wants to debate syndicalism or cooperatives or whatever with Vorsch. No one you chose the debate topics, dude. I know you're too stupid to discuss economic theory. That's why I was surprised you did it. You chose the debate topics. That was you, or maybe, or maybe it was Adam Friended. Okay, to be fair, it could be Adam Friended was the one who initially set the debate topics for the first, but Adam Friend, it's your friend, my dude. You think I want to talk about economic theory with a fucking idiot like you? Do you think, like, do you think it's fun for me to try to explain basic economic principles to a brick wall? Why the fuck would I, I would much rather ramble with you about SJWs. That's much more fun for me. Why can't we talk about that? You, this was, I didn't choose the topic. And after Adam Friend had chose them, you agreed to them. Not only was I not the one who chose the topics for the first debate, I wasn't even informed on them. I didn't even come in prepared to talk about them. I didn't know. I walked into that fucking discussion and then I saw the title of the YouTube stream hosted by Adam Friended and I thought, oh, guess we're talking about capitalism versus socialism. That was my experience with it, okay? Control your fucking content output if you are the one who uh, uh, has an aversion to talking about economic theory, okay? Who cares? No one cares about his personal pet project. They care about the radical left-wing narratives that are going about about other issues, social issues, that Vorsch himself is not on the same side of. So we can't debate those issues with him. So saying- I'm not on the same side. Wait, what is that? Wait. Wait, what SJW-esque issues does he think I won't fight him on? Wait, what? Wait, does he- wait, does he think I agree with him on something? Like anything? 
I'm left of most of the SJWs on social issues that you talk about. I'm a fucking race and gender abolitionist. Wait, is it is it because I'm not like a woman or trans? It might actually be that. When, I think he's dog whistling, kind of. He th When he says, I want to talk about SJW issues, he's talking about having colored hair and being a woman. That's what he means. But because I don't have colored hair, and I guess brown is a color, and I'm not a woman, uh, he thinks I'm not? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Leftists won't debate these things. Well, that's still true. There might well be a tiny fraction of subset of basically irrelevant communists who want to debate communism, but that's not the problem. That's not who we want to debate. We want then to debate choose different debate topics. Actual leftists who are going to come and say, yeah, let me tell you about patriarchy. Let me tell you about white privilege. Yeah, wait, you think I won't disagree with you on this? You wait, you think if I go and talk to him and he's like, uh, well, I don't believe in the patriarchy and I'm going to go on there and I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, the patriarchy sucks. Are you saying I'm a class reductionist? Let me tell you about the you know, British Empire and all these sort of things. They're the people who we need to hold to account, and they avoid all debates, as you know, because fundamentally their their positions are baseless. We literally talked about, we literally talked about the alt right pipeline and transgender issues in our debates. What the fuck are you talking about? I think this is another way to like distance himself from me. This is the other excuse, like, oh, Vosh just wants to discuss irrelevant uh, e economic theory. He doesn't want to engage with the culture war. But like, ninety percent of my videos are the culture war, dude. Like, I'm sorry, like, I, you know, I understand. Like, most of you are probably familiar with my <laughs> with my discography here, but. Like, if we, if we look through this, like, the vast majority of this stuff is culture war stuff. Like, here's me talking about SJWs with um, Josephine Mathias. Here's me, a uh, fucking SJW Medium article. Here's me talking about anti-SJWs with Chris Reagan. Um, here's me talking about, I guess, ho this homofascism and homophobia culture war for you. Um, JF Garieppi was, I guess, largely about, like, social issues and transgender stuff. Like, the majority of the videos that I do are social issue stuff economic theory stuff is fun but i don't think it should make like the entirety of your content as a left-leaning person blatant plugging it's true i am on my channel i feel comfortable plugging my own channel do you watch your own videos yes um i usually go back to my own videos to check the comment section sometimes i'll skip to a point in the video to um to um uh, if I'm testing like an audio thing, I'm always adjusting my audio settings in the background. Uh, but I always check the comments of every video, just see what the discourse is. Then Tim Pool uh, jumps in saying, debates are stupid, it's an attempt to win instead of actually understanding hey, the Tim. issues. True. There is a hard tendency among the left to avoid any kind of discussion or debate relative to the right. True. This is true even back when I was doing field reporting and documentary. Correct. This is the closest I've gotten to Tim Pool, by the way, for him to jump into a discussion thread where I'm like one of the main subjects. This is the closest I've gotten. We're getting closer, baby. We're going to get up to him. We're going to rip that beanie off. We're going to see what's underneath, okay? And then Shu says, disagree. People like Shapiro, Rubin, and Crowder get used to being in an echo chamber and debating college kids and will claim the left is scared of ideas and facts and logic, but when, when you see when they're faced with people who are actually smart, the facade chatters. Vorsch is not actually smart. Vorsch is... <laughs> Way to completely sidestep the fucking argument, dude. Way to... <laughs> Wait, if I'm not smart, then doesn't that mean you're scared to debate a dumbass? That's even more embarrassing, my dude. Hey, listen, this is a really hot, this is a hot tip to you guys, okay? If you want to look good, you want to compliment your enemies, not denigrate them. Because that way, if you lose to your enemies under, like, no matter what you're doing, coworkers or debate lords on YouTube, that way it looks way better if you overestimate them. If you're like, this guy's a fucking idiot, and then, like, you're scared to debate him, it makes you look really stupid. Just well, uh, well versed in his particular pet field take him out of that and he doesn't know what to do and he can't even explain why he won't what what fields am i undereducated on 
become uh, uh, the owner, of, no, a member of a worker co-op. Sorry, not the owner of a worker Again? Ah, oh, it's again! They don't get it! Hey, Sargon, you claim to be a capitalist? Why the fuck do you have a problem with me making money off engaging with other people on YouTube? If you're a capitalist, you should invite people to engage in the free marketplace of ideas and the exchange of free-willed commerce is something that you should value principally. Ooh, I thought you were a capitalist, my dude. Guess you're a radical socialist now. What a hypocrite. Can't even put his ideas into fucking practice. Oh, sorry, God, what, what was I thinking? But Tim replies with, when I worked at Vice and Fusion, getting leftists on record was like pulling teeth. By the way, just so you guys know, even if I did run my stream as a co-op, they would still make fun of me for it. If I had my stream as a co-op, they would be like, oh, so is everyone getting paid exactly the same amount? And then if I say yes, they'd say, oh, so do you all vote on every video you put out? And if I said yes, they would say, oh, well, do you spend 50-50 time each editing each individual video? Like, they don't, they don't actually care. They don't give a fuck about the application of the standard. They'll push it like as far as they can conservatives are the opposite most of these people left or right just want to win these debate tactics and semantics to make clips it's stupid notice how all these excuses only come out when there's a possibility of these people being challenged by debaters conservatives didn't say this for six years straight and hey by the way back in 2014 2015 there were a lot of fucking lefties on youtube who were dumb as rocks and who didn't make good arguments and who were too scared to debate okay so back in those days all of these arguments about them engaging in bad faith were equally applicable but now and only now suddenly they a very strong aversion to actually engaging with these people. Yeah, and it's not like Vosh is in any way an honest actor, is it? I mean, hey, can, dude, holy shit, you fucking Vosh brain. Jesus Christ. I'm not even being mentioned in this specific thread. It's just like a subtweet to me. But everything you say is a reflection. You're not even talking about the general ideas Tim Pool is expressing. You're just complaining about me. Dude, I get it. Holy shit. I, I appreciate, I know you think about me a lot more than I think about you. Somehow, despite you being, still being one of the largest reactionaries on YouTube. Just chill. It's okay. The debate's over. It happened months ago. It's okay. It's over. Just get over it, dude. Don't everyone a white supremacist or everyone is a fascist or like, take the leftist <laughs> bullshit. It doesn't. Got any counter arguments? Do anything for anyone, does it? It doesn't advance any conversations. But uh, she says, Are wait, yeah, wait, yeah, it does. Hey, I think you're a fascist. Why do you think I'm a fascist? Okay, let's talk about your policies, ideas, and mannerisms. Damn. You can just, and then you can talk about it. Isn't that crazy? You can actually have a discussion about it. Just like how when you call me a radical communist, I can talk about that. As it turns out, ascribing labels to other people can actually be a gateway in discussing people's ideas. It's pretty wild, I know, but it's true. I remember when it was uh, that way, especially online, but I think things are changing. The left is starting to grow a backbone, from what I can see at least. Have you done any of the work to engage with what Vosch is saying, other than just saying, I'm left and therefore? Like, what is he proposing? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wait, it's what? Wait, where are you going with this? I We talked about what I was proposing. What the fuck do you mean? What? Is he say? wait, is he implying I'm like a Stalinist or something? Like, Shu, you have no idea what you're getting into. Have you even learned what his ideas are like? Like, wait, what's the implication here? Yeah, this is post Vosh stress disorder, PVSD. Yeah, I talked about all this with Shu on head. Shu on head knows exactly what I believe in. Uh, I assume? I mean, she's in chat sometimes. Uh, we talk, you know, DM, like, yeah. Pretty sure she knows what my thoughts are. She doesn't agree with everything, but principally, I think like she and I have a lot of mutual respect. It took me eight months to set one discussion last year. I can send a DM to anyone on the right and be good to go today. I stopped because it's all bullshit. No one actually wants to understand anything. They want to win and have their fans hoot at them. That's definitely true in the case of Vosh, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! Holy shit! You're not even responding to what Tim Pool's saying. Just in every, like every sentence, you're like, heh. That reminds me of how bad Vosh is. But uh, this is the problem, though, Shu. And I, I think that this, like, you being an attack dog for Vosh is one thing if you're prepared to step up and defend his position. What does that because mean? Wait, wait, wait. She's not an attack. I don't send Shu to do anything. Sticks at Hex and Hammer's behavior was objectively pathetic. He spent years talking about how no one wants to debate him. And then he preemptively said he would never debate me before I ever even challenged him to a debate. It was pathetic. Like, that's it. 
Shu can point out that pathetic behavior without having to defend every single position I believe in. This is, this is complete non sequitur. It's obviously something you endorse, but saying not I necessarily. wouldn't engage in debate either because I know for a fact that I would be bad at one if you're not going to do it. Why does anyone else have to do it? Do what? Because Sticks Hexenhammer was the one who said for years that he nobody would want to debate him because the left was afraid. That's why. That is the difference. That is it. What is it? Because some random person somewhere doesn't want to debate, that means nobody ever has to, and it's not embarrassing when they avoid doing so? I, I can't believe that Sargon of Akkad's brain is getting, like, an appropriate amount of oxygen. It's actually insane to me. Didn't Destiny try to debate Styx a while ago? Yeah, and he was a pussy back then, too. Styx kept ducking out of the debate and only showed up during a blood sports match where there were five other fucking neo-Nazis in the call dunking on Destiny already. That was the only time Styx came in. Just because Vorsch and his... I mean, that's Vorsch's income. Vorsch's livelihood is yelling at people on his streams. It's... I mean, yeah, it's my... Yeah, I'm... Sar, Sar, Sargon, I'm... I'm a YouTuber. Um, I have the same job as you. That, yeah, yes, that, yes, that is our job. Yes. You, you probably make more than me. I don't know why you keep bringing this up. I don't ever do this, by the way. I don't go like, huh, Sargon of Akkad just making money off being a dumbass online. It's such a weird, like, aversion to actually discussing the arguments they're making. So why would anyone want to play into that? I, I think it's totally reasonable for Sticks to say, no, I'm just not going to engage with that. I mean, that's something that's not credible like yeah it's that sticks hex and hammers right but it makes him look like a pussy yeah that's fair. yeah totally if you posture as a debate lord but then you preemptively back out because the other guy is super extra mean yeah that makes you look like a pussy yeah totally 100 percent. yeah easily yeah but that's his right he doesn't have to debate like i'm not suggesting the state mandate he debate me he's not a credible interlocutor in this regard i would rather talk to destiny than borsh <laughs> that is the biggest compliment that i've gotten this past week because i know exactly what that means i know exactly what that means his destiny can at least reason through positions he doesn't already hold but um what position did you give me that I couldn't reason through, my dude? If you're not going to debate them, why should, you know, you, why are you being an attack dog for ideas you can't even substantiate? That's not what she's doing, and that's a non sequitur. It just seems to be about you saying, I'm left wing. Left wing doesn't just mean communism, does it? If it does just mean communism, then why would anyone want to be left wing? What's she's good not a about the left? communist. Again, ask them about, I don't know, virtue. Ask them about compassion. What? Ask them about honor. Ask them what about- What the fuck? This is, by the way, this is how fascists talk, by the way. When fascists try to, like, ref like, move back to some sort of essentialist accusation that people are empirically incapable of engaging in virtue, that's, that's like, fasci talk right there. Um, it's essentially calling, like, a person a degenerate. That's essentially what he's calling me. Like, ah, oh, yes. Well, Vosch's problem is that he lacks the honor necessary to discuss ethnostates in proper condition. Like, like it's it's a really weird aversion to um yeah it's it is virtue signaling but it's also like a really weird like what does he think he is does he think he's some sort of like fucking gallant uh uh uh, uh like Arthurian knight you know like this knight of YouTube the I guess the you know the Union Jack behind him or whatever who who stands there valiantly back straight hands placed firmly upon the pommel of a sword buried into the dirt ah oh, yes milady ah oh, lady shoe. Oh, how can you stand here and act as the attack dot of this scurrious dog, Vosh? Do you, doth you not know he lacks the honor and virtue to engage fairly in the marketplace of ideas? Like, I don't know, my dude. I don't think she's gonna fuck you. Ideas that are not purely material, and you'll find they don't have very many answers at all. You never asked me what virtue meant in our discussions. It would have been a weird question, but... But Tim says, I think the left tends to be scared of the circular firing squad, and there are people swayed by right-wing love bombs and people who are scared of left-wing firing squads. There are many people who went from right to left after being targeted, and many who drift right due to comfort. Which is interesting, because she's actually doing the opposite here. She's drifting left to, because of comfort. Uh, she admits she doesn't 
have uh, the knowledge of the subject to properly defend what? it. What? So it can only be because it feels like a comfortable position to arrive at. No, because she just doesn't like doing debates. What? She just... She... She... She, do, she talks politics, she just doesn't like debate. I don't think Shu likes confrontation very much. Shu is like a 1.4 million sub YouTuber and she's nervous to come on my stream just because talking about her ideas in like an immediate format makes her nervous. And that's fine, debate's not for everyone. It's a specific skill. But she's never made claims to being a debater like Styx Hexenhammer and Sargon of Akkad have. But Shu then uh, finishes this conversation with, Absolutely the right li embraces literally everyone on the left gatekeeps and purity tests like crazy. I don't think that's arguable. If you're someone going from left to right, you'll be welcomed by a parade. If it's the opposite, you'll be picked apart. It's a problem I'd love to fix. She don't miss. How can that be fixed? How can it possibly be fixed? The problem with left-wing ideology is it's abstract, very rarely trans- uh, Abstract from the guy who just said, ask communists what they think of honor? Okay translates into anything that isn't horrific in real life and from the person who advocates for an abolition of all immigration to the united kingdom a policy that is engaged in only by places like turkmenistan and north korea essentially is focused on the idea that there can be a correct and perfect politics that is what? a ridiculous position what Wait, fascists are the one who believe- Wait! The idea of a permanent revol- The idea of constant- the material dialectic constantly driving forward societal change is a cornerstone of Marxist thought. There are no, I have never met a leftist in my life who actually believed in some sort of perfect utopian system. I have never met this person in my life. But fascists literally think like, if we go back to 1950s America and get rid of all the darkies, then we'll have a perfect place forever and we never have to change that. The material dialectic explicitly denounces this type of uh, this type of thinking. The idea that you can have correct politics, political correctness. What? The, and you, you'll what? notice that you yourself got dragged into this because Vorsch called you a reactionary and you went on to prove you weren't a reactionary. I think Sargon is arguing against the metaphysical concept of being correct. I think he's been stupid and wrong for so long that he has begun to doubt the idea that it's possible for anyone to be correct about anything. That would actually explain a fuck ton of his policies if he believes that. If he believes the idea of empirical correctness is utopian, that would ha- That would ha- Oh shit! I'm getting an insight into Sargon right now! That's incre- That explains everything! No wonder he acts the way he does. <laughs> Who's not a reactionary compared to Vorsch? How much further left can you get? Oh, sh hey! My ma hey, th I'm gonna listen to that again, because that's like fucking whipped cream in my ear holes. I don't know if that actually feel good. That's just the first thing that came to my mind to say. Who's not a reactionary compared to Vorsch? <clears throat> How much further left can you get? Until you are as far left as Vorsch, he's going to call you a reactionary. <sighs> I wouldn't measure myself by his standard <sighs> if I were you. I don't think that... Shuan Head's a reactionary, by the way. I think that Shuan Head occasionally engages in rhetoric that is um, appreciable to reactionaries. I think that sometimes Sargon engages in language that reactionaries, for lack of a better term, vibe with. Uh, but I don't think Shuan Head is a reactionary. Um, I don't think Chris Reagan's a reactionary. I mean, it's funny that he would accuse me of this because I'm actually one of the most permissive people on the left. Most of the left is pretty... Um, is, is pretty uh, inhospitable to people like Shu or Chris Reagan and stuff, but I'm the one who's actually putting in like effort to, I guess, reach out and, I don't want to sound like conceited or anything, but I, but I, I think that these people, I don't think they're as bad as a lot of people think. I want to reach out. I, I want to believe that fundamentally a lot of us care like really deeply about making the world a better place. Wait, what is this? Wait, what? At Sargon Beta. Afraid of what? I've already debated him twice, neither of which I profited from? We know. Wait, that... <laughs> Wait, what? What? Why is he bragging about... Why is he bragging about not profiting from the discussions with me? Doesn't that... 
I don't know if he's trying to imply something else, but doesn't he realize that makes it sound like like he's acknowledging the fact that he looked bad, right? Am I am I mis I don't know. Godspeed. We don't need to turn every video response into a fucking Twitter shitstorm, okay? But this is the thing, isn't it? Like the the drive to become more like him, that's what he's doing. It's effectively a way of grooming you into it, I guess. Sargon, just so you know, it's really creepy when you put it that way. That's really weird. You might want to you might want to exp- do some introspection and examine why you're ascribing a sexual relationship to Shu and I being buds and Shu moving a little over to the left. You might want to That's a little weird to me, okay? Do you wish you were grooming Shu? Do you wish every morning Shu would DM you and ask Sargon, "What can I do to be more based and epic and red pilled?" I don't know, like, this really, really weird. <laughs> Please don't say that again. Okay, groomer. <laughs> it's really strange. I wonder if Shu's gonna see this segment. That's a really weird thing to say. A lot of people, people do this really weird sexual stuff with Shu. Like, I get it, Shu's hot, like, cool, but holy shit, a ton of people make jokes about her and I, like, fucking, or, like, like, uh, like, about her being like a sub to whoever she's talking to. It's like really, really weird. I, I like when my community does it, like I get a lot of you are just horny teenagers. I try to push you off that, but Sargon, you're like 40. You're like 45. I don't even, you're like a hundred. I don't know. You're like way older than me. It's really strange. Um, but no, but this is, this is the, the way that the, the left is. You can't escape this. You can't get away from this being a problem of the left what? because the left thinks there is a perfect and correct politics. I mean, that's. I mean, it's materially opposed to one of the foundational principles of almost every leftist's beliefs. But okay. And I've seen leftists use this phrase, having perfect politics, as if abstractly. You know, I've worked out what perfect politics. I have never heard that phrase. When people say perfect politics, it's always in like this abstract, insulting way. I've heard some people say perfect politics, and it's people making fun of woke scolds for gatekeeping. Like, you can't enter the left unless you have perfect politics. I have never heard anyone use that term as like a positive descriptor. I have no idea where he's getting this from. Probably reasonable of me to assume that I know more about the internal dynamics of the left than he does, just because I spend more time in it, but I don't know. This would look like, and when and until the world looks like this, the world is fallen and bad and reactionary and, and fascist. Now wait, this is the language of fascists, that the world is in a fallen state? I'm sorry, have you ever been on The Fallen State? by Jesse Lee Peterson, that's liter That's what they believe, that the world is in a degenerative state. Most leftists believe that we're in the best place in history that we ever have been in, and that we keep progressing forward. Fascists are the one who believe uh, that things like, were there was a perfect past, and we just need to bring it back to it, that we've fallen from that point. Uh, really weird. And, it, and But when it does it like this, it will be perfect and communist and sweetness and light and et cetera, Nobody... et cetera. It's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. But this is what's happening with left-wing purity tests and the circular firing squad. It's, I am more communist than thou. Who fucking cares, man? I'm not even slightly communist. I, and I, don't I don't know. You're the one who was a problem with me making money in the free marketplace of ideas, my dude. That sounds pretty commun pretty Stalinistic, uh, to be perfectly honest with you, my dude. When you said, uh, yes, I will not engage with Vush because I know he will profit off of it through free exchange of capital and open market. Oh, uh, damn, I don't know, my dude, Sargon, that was pretty weird. You were really repping some commie vibes back there. Ugh. I don't see why you would be either, and I don't think you are really. I think that your frustration initially with the social justice warriors is that you don't agree that the lowest common denominator is the best standard. I don't think you do. What? I think you understand that there is something to your own personal effort that matters. And I think what? that because of your emotional attachment to the term left... Is he trying to, like, woo her? 
This whole video has been really weird about Shu, like he keeps ascribing no agency to her, you know? Like she's being pulled over to the right by me, or she's simping for me, or she's my attack dog. Um, no individual agency on her part. Is he trying to like pull her or something? You are kind of reluctant to admit that. I think that it's been worn away by your experiences with people like Vorsch. But maybe I'm wrong. What experience? And maybe we could Wait, what experience? Uh, kind of reluctant to admit that. I think that it's been worn away by your experiences with people I don't, like I Vorsch. I actually maybe, don't, I don't know what he's saying here. I have no idea. Maybe I'm wrong. And maybe we could, we could have a chat about it. Maybe we could talk about <laughs> it. I think it'd be... Ah, uh, okay. I get it. Hey. <laughs> okay, alright. No, okay. It's all coming together now. I get why he's shit-talking me so much now. This is like, this is simp behavior, right? Because he probably thinks I'm like the commie boyfriend that's pulling her over. Like, she's just this inert object that can only be, like, pulled in directions by men. And right now, I'm like the commie BF and I'm pulling her. And he's like, hey, Shu, your current BF is trash and he's garbage. Why don't you come talk to me, baby? This is like some high school shit. This is really funny. Are you married, Sargon? That's really strange. I don't know. Hey, listen, I mean, I'm into open relationships, okay? I'm not trying to judge or nothing. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just surprised. Nice, you know, I've never had a crossword to say about you, and I don't know <laughs> I just think that this is something that needs to be addressed. I think this is really important, and I think <laughs> it's why the, the, the skeptics uh, can't bring themselves to admit that Donald Trump is doing a good job, because he is. And... Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? They would rather go into this kind of fantasy world of communism than what? admit that maybe the MAGA people have a point <laughs> and maybe the leftists are actually the architects of their own misery. Anyway, folks, if you'd like- Nope! Oh, what? What is- What are these t-shirts, Sargon? What does that say? Thou shalt not simp. <sighs> ah. Oof. I would have skipped out on the promo at the end of this video, my dude, because this looks really bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I gotta buy him one. What's what's Sargon's P.O. box? I, <laughs> I gotta throw him one. Oh, is Shu here? <laughs> oh, hey, Shu on head, what's up? <laughs> Shu, I'm sorry people are so weird about you. I'm really sorry. This is- it's- it's funny because, like, people impugn you as being an anti-feminist, which I guess you're anti, like, liberal feminism, like the Karen shit or whatever. But it's funny because I think you've come face to face with a gruesome reality of- of, like, <laughs> being mistreated as a woman more so than almost anyone else on this fucking platform. Because- because you're- <laughs> Because people are so weird about you. Uh, uh, oh, fuck, the YouTube comments. We always have to look at the YouTube comments after. If we don't, what was even the point? Debating bread tube. This is the question that is being... Shut up. Here we go. It's easy to be a communist when you don't have to live like one. <laughs> Make your YouTube channel a co-op. <laughs> I'll believe the left has grown a backbone when they stop trying to rip people off the internet for saying things that hurt their feelings. Damn, you think that's unjustified? Better debate it with me. <laughs> um, a lot of them are talking about Shu. I guess the, the video is like split. It's like half between Shu and half between me, even though he was going over like the Shu tweet thread or whatever. Shu built a career on debunking far-left propaganda, then lost her mind after drinking Bernie Sanders Kool-Aid. Dude, you've no idea. Shu was in Shu was a fan of Bernie back in 2016. And she never debunked far-left propaganda. She made fun of 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 toothless liberal feminism, the opposite of far-left propaganda. I love these people, dude. God, I wish I could debate every one of these people one by one. Oh, oh, Sargon liked this one. 
If Sargon acted towards trans people the way Vosh acts towards Stefan, Sargon would actually be what the feminists think he is. Damn, dude. Hypocrisy unveiled. Imagine if we treated trans people the way we treat neo-Nazis. Heh. <laughs> Bet you're looking pretty transphobic now, huh? All right. That's good. We're, we've had our fun. That's enough. God, dude. I can't... You know what actually really sucks? I've been thinking about this a lot more lately, but like Destiny had this exact same problem. Destiny kind of ran through the entire like debate sphere, you know what I mean? Like he ran through, like he ran through all these people. He didn't get to Stefan, I got to Stefan, but he ran through like everyone else. And now it feels like he can't get like high profile debates anymore. Not because, not because like he's off his game, but because like no one wants to talk to him because they all lost, you know? Um, yeah, I feel like, I really hope that as I get larger, my goal, this is my goal, okay? Because right now, right now, all of the, um, all the, the reactionary YouTubers are finding excuses to avoid talking to people like me. By which I mean me, because there aren't that many people like me. Um, and my goal is that eventually I can be so large and so powerful that debating me is like a rite of passage. Like, like my, like my fans become this like aura of pain for reactionary YouTube, where I'm on here and every time, any time a reactionary makes a video where they're like, like criticizing me or like vaguely criticizing BreadTube or something, that there are people in the comment section saying like, hey, why don't you talk about it with him? Hey, why don't you debate him? I want to do to YouTube what the skeptics did to YouTube. They turned it into a shithole, except they turned it into a shithole for women and for progressives and for people of color and for trans people and what have you. I want to turn it into a shithole for Nazis and fascists. That's what I want to do. I want to make this platform uninhabitable for them just because I am so infallibly good at debate and so presently willing to engage with all these people that they either they have no choice but to succumb and lose to me or they get made fun of for the rest of their careers that's my ideal but we have to get really big to be able to do that we have to be very very large like half a million subs minimum you know um but hey a 5k stream isn't a bad start you know uh <laughs> uh